<laughs> Pierre, how are you, mate? Good, thanks, BT. How are you? Now, you're my man today. I know we're back at HQ here, of course, and gee, it looks full. What are we doing today? Today, we're off to Melbourne Steel. Uh, we're going to show them the strut nail system. So, on site, you're driving. Let's go. Let's, let's do it. Do you know anything about footy? Uh, I do know the teams. What do you, what do you follow, soccer or something, do you? Uh, I follow soccer, yeah. So, who do you yeah. follow in the soccer? Uh, Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah. How are they going this year? Not too good this year. So Pierre, what sort of system are we using today? So today I'll um, show, I'll demonstrate the, the gas tool. Yep. Um, however, we have um, two options available to end users: um, uh, compressed air or the gas tool. The reason why you've been parked here so long, mate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, red lights taking forever. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me about this job we're going to now. So we're heading down to, I think it's Caram Downs down that way somewhere. We're going to Melbourne Steel mm -hmm. um, and they're looking for an alternative to um, screwing their isolation um, and their um, cladding. Okay, so the struck nail system, Pierre, tell us a little bit about the features of the gun. It has two purposes, so you can use it uh, for the size elation. Uh, it has an, a magnetic adapter for the size elation um, and um, uses a 22mm pin. Because we're going on the metal frame, not wood frame. Correct, it's a gas tool, uh, battery operated, um, easy to use, light, um, so we have a leveller here, yep. so, which um, allows the end user okay. to keep it level. The actual hardy board that we're trying to fix to the uh, metal frame, tell us about that. So the James Hardy board um, is uh, fixed directly fixed onto the batten, um, onto metal frame. Yep. So this is light gauge metal frames, um, 0.55 up to 2mm. So that's going to go through there, no worries. It will go through there, no worries, uh, provided that the nail is 19 mil into the stud. Right, very, very sharp, the nail, I notice. Super sharpie, so hence the name Super Sharpie. Sharp point, small indentation into the steel. The nail finish will give you the holding power of a screw. Time for action, Pierre. Let's go, mate. Let's, Let's do, do it. it. First thing is we want to get the sizo up. What do we need in the gun to make sure the sizo fits? Okay, so we've got a, a magnetic adapter yep. and using a 25 mil washer, Yep. Place it at the front. Bang in. 22 mil pin. Here we go. And one over here. Yep. Right. Beautiful. Now this, in preference to double-sided tape, which would be the norm. Yes. A traditionally double-sided tape. Put it on one day, come back the next day, and it's gone. Windy day, it's absolutely gone. All right. So, so this is not coming off. Okay, let's get the uh, the board on. There it is. And we've got a 38 in, and we're yep. battery powered. Bang! Very nice. You can get one in there for us in the middle. All right. So the other conventional way of doing it is to put one of these screws in. Show us how that works in comparison to the struck nail system. Much lower system. See, that's tough work putting your body behind it, getting it in, individually loading each screw. So there you have it, the struck nail system of course, you can either do it fast and efficiently with the nail or you can do it cumbersome and slow with the screw. Yes, when you're doing a structure like this, the time factor and the labour cost that you'll be saving is immense. So if you need a fixing system for cladding or size elation onto steel frames, then the struck nail system is the way to go. Fast, efficient, powerful and really good and of course, to me, it's an absolute game changer.